this is the pretty much start of my journey. I had no clue at this point what I really, really wanted to do with my hair. Only thing I knew is I wanted to do something. So a lot of people show their particular hairstyle from when they're pretty much fresh and never the hairstyle as they go through the process and why it's looking all rugged. So I decided to show mine. This is the new wash right before the new twist. And this is the before and after pictures of the new wash of the twist. And this is pretty much current day on how they look right now. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so just to add to my video, I actually went through a phase with my hair where I had like all this severe dandruff in my hair and like it went crazy for me. Like, dude, I'm talking like, look like full scabs coming out my head, the like crumbles of dirt coming and stuff out my hair. Like that, that severe lot of um, that um, dandruff, then I'll tell you. I had to get some products and put them in my hair, and then I did the Q-tips with the witch hazel. The Q-tips with the witch hazel was actually pretty good on my hair, and then of course I had to put some uh, different product in my hair to make sure my hair was pretty good. So this is what I used on my hair. All the shampoo I used before I get to this, all the shampoo I used in my hair, I'm telling you, it didn't work. And my hair was, it wasn't even feeling clean. It wasn't even, the dandruff wasn't getting out. It was just crazy. This is before I put the locks in though because um, I had to make sure whenever I wash my hair, of course, before I put the locks in, that everything was good, hair clean, get the products that I need to use and get the products that I, that I have been using out of my hair. So therefore, this is the actual product that I use. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll get a little closer. So this is what I used to wash my hair. It was more like a charcoal black type of thing. Excellent. Then, bust across the head with this. Now, some people were telling me to get the Suffer 8. It was a whole totally different bottle. I believe it's just yellow and white or whatever without the blue, without the blue top. Blue top is actually doing pretty good for me, though. The blue top is actually doing good. I like this. It, it gives my scalp like this cold feeling. So it's everything is, man, I'm telling you, sleep better, all that. I ain't got to walk around scratching my hair as much as I used to do and none of that. It was actually pretty good. So I'll definitely throw that in the picture and let you guys know what that was. And this particular product I used before too. So I'll let you guys know what this was. I watched some videos and I've asked a few people and they told me to use this particular product right here. Now, I don't want to spoil it for nobody else, but definitely didn't work for me. I'm sorry. Definitely didn't work for me. Don't want to spoil it for nobody else, but definitely didn't work for me. This is just to let you guys know different products that I've been using in my hair. 
even can too. Now I've, I've got pretty much all the products for the can too. I got the whole deal. One second. Whole deal for the um, for the can too. What you want to choose? What choose that? Get that too. Choose that. Got that too. So. I went on a full blown phase of just actually trying different products in my hair. I didn't just go with what somebody said. I didn't just um, just pick a product and just say, you know what, I'm going to try this. I actually asked questions. I, um, I found other people with locks. I found other people that wash their hair, men, women, you know, just to get a whole ordeal. Because if you're going to go into this, you have to be able to understand and try different things and know what you put in your hair and if you're in it for the long run like i i'm in for the long run man you're gonna go through some products you're gonna you're gonna check out some different stuff but um just to let you guys know and then i'll take a, a picture i keep everything set up a certain type of different way on my particular account i don't move anything i don't eliminate anything just because it helps me understand you know through my journey, it's not just a lot journey. It's not just not washing your hair. It's things that you that you did in between that particular time frame from whenever you was putting different products in your hair. All that, everything is a journey because I mean, I mean it is what it is. You know, going to the barber, you know, getting the edge up and uh, you know the fade and all that good stuff. So everything is a part of this journey. You gotta you gotta roll with it. You know, however way you go. So. Got y'all. Stay tuned. I'm going to add these pictures and let you guys know. Bet. And then, like I said before, we're going to go way down memory lane. Back to what I was looking like. David Ruffin, all that good stuff. Yeah. We're going to do that. Bet.